Look at this amazing beauty right here. This has so many healing benefits, so many properties. I know people that swear by it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this and we just break off pieces and we toss them in there. It's easy to snap off. They're like, they look like little fingers. So yeah, you get as much pieces as you can. So at the end, if you can't take this piece off, what we, what we do is cut it off right here and uh, replant it into the ground and leave it. And it might decompose or it might create new plants. Either or, putting it back into the soil never hurts. Anything that it does to your body, it probably does for the earth too. So we put those right there. And that's what we're doing right now. We're just sorting them out. And we're teaching you guys how to process turmeric to make powder. Different ones I notice are different colors. Maybe the taller ones, the more adult ones, either the more older ones are darker or they're just different. Some are orange. This is great chop and drop nutrients, uh, green carbon and you can, or green nitrogen. You can put this into your compost piles or just leave it if you have a perennial area and put this root back into the ground. Really a win-win situation here with turmeric, which is why I love her so much. All right, and that's that. So we're gonna finish the rest of these plants and we're gonna go to the next phase in our powder making process. So guys, from these plants, we got ourselves this many turmeric pieces, golden turmeric. This is your medicine right here, guys. So we're gonna take this and wash it. They're gonna get brighter. I'm gonna make that powder. So we're about to wash it. Let's go. All right, guys, so we wash these by hand. And as you can see, there seems to be two varying colors to the right. You have a fiery orange, and to the left, you have a honey yellow slash golden. Now, to me, these look like two varieties. I can't say that because they're orange, darker that they're more anything, because you have some that are this size that are orange, and then you have some that are this size that are yellow. So they're a, a pretty much equal size. Just two different types. We're probably gonna combine the powder, but it would be cool to see what would happen if we made powder just out of these and made powder just out of those. But anywho, we're gonna go to Walmart, get a food processor. We'll be back. We're gonna turn this into powder. Quick thing, when you process some turmeric, you wanna do it as quickly as possible because turmeric has high rot potential. It's easy for turmeric to rot and to get mold once exposed to the air. So you wanna let it dry, dehydrate it, either sun dry it or dehydrate it, or put it in the oven. Uh, matter of fact, we're gonna get a food processor. I don't know if I said that correctly, but uh, you wanna dehydrate it as soon as you can and grind it to make that powder. So these colors are so beautiful. Wow, this almost looks like candy. Kinda looks like that cotton, not not cotton, that corn candy, candy corn. Doesn't it look like candy corn, guys? Or some type of caramel popcorn? What am I doing over here? Longing for fair food. Somebody bring me some candy corn and some popcorn. But yeah, guys, so we're gonna process this. All right, everyone, so we got our fresh turmeric. Went to the store and got this crispy Krups coffee and spice grinder. And from Walmart, Shout out to Wally Rub for providing all of your American convenience needs. So we're gonna chop this up and proceed to the next step.
real quick, y'all. Y'all can't tell me these don't look like a batch of carrots. This is our orange turmeric, and this is like our yellow gold turmeric. Crazy, right? Two varieties of turmeric. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna process each of these separate so that we can have two types of powder. And if it dehydrates too small to where it doesn't look like it'll be enough, we'll just mix it. But for now, I wanna see how this turns out compared to this. So we're doing this with the skin on. And by leaving the skin on, that allows it to be a little bit more brighter. Fun fact, turmeric is how you make mustard. And I wouldn't be surprised if you can make some type of yellow dye with this stuff. It stains your clothes, it stains your fingers, so, but it smells real good, real fresh. I can't wait to finish this. Finally done a full plate of our turmeric. And now it's time to put in the oven. So we're gonna bake it at 200 degrees. We're gonna put it in here for two hours. All right guys, so we got a full tray. We're about to put this in for two hours and we're gonna see what happens. Mayday, mayday guys. We're in the middle of trying to make some turmeric powder and we got our instructions from this YouTube video that uh, is gonna be down below. We got our instructions from there, but y'all know how people be. I ain't the accuser, I ain't saying that, I don't know, but some people, which is a thing on YouTube with sharing information or just in general, which is pretty weird, people like to codify their process or make it like elusive, you know, in the age of information where information is becoming more readily available. It's like throwing hurdles in front of the learners uh, so that they could do whatever. But anywho, the point is my oven is at 200 degrees and it's been there for two hours. Like that video said, I guess it could be the amount of turmeric that's inside of the oven, which means that there's more water, more water, more humidity, and a longer time to process. That could be it. And I did let the oven out and let the oven open and a lot of humidity, uh, a lot of steam came out. So that could be a sign. I picked these very fresh today. So I'm gonna leave them in there, man, until them things dry. Cause I heard that when you have them in the sun, you dry them for, I think, 13 hours. So I've only had them in here for two at 200 degrees. I'm thinking about turning it up, but I might just leave it in just for a little bit longer. So y'all stay tuned and we're gonna hope that this process works because that would be a bummer if I waste all this turmeric. All right, guys, what we're gonna do is for the remainder of the time, leave it open. We saw another video where a guy was dehydrating strawberries and it took him four hours. So she said two hours to um, dehydrate these. I don't know how. She must have sliced them paper thin, but we're gonna leave them in for a few more hours and we'll be back with the door crack. Peace. All right, everyone. So it's the next day. I ended up keeping them in there for six hours because the first two hours, I didn't realize that you need a convection oven, big tip. You need a convection oven if you want to warm them up in your oven with the door closed. Reason being is because the convection oven, it heats up the food by circulating heat inside of the oven. So that's what would create the dry crispiness. If you don't have a convection oven, you have a conventional oven, which means heat comes from the bottom, like mine does, of the oven. What you would do is you would leave the door cracked open and I also put a little fan. I used this fan and I had the door closed like this the whole night. And I had the fan where, where it was at, send the air through here. All of these are pretty much dry. How you can tell is you pick up one. Number one, I can't even crack this. Y'all hear that? So when it cracks, that's how you know it's ready. You can definitely hear that crack sound. So these are ready. Only about a very few of them we're not ready, still moist, Don't it doesn't crack at all. So what I'm gonna do, and it was more so the ones in the center, so I'm just filling around, I found one right now, filling around, I could, you could kind of feel to touch which ones have not been fully dried, 
and I just put those to the side. It's like 10%. And I just put those to the side. But for the most part, these things are pretty dry. So yeah, if it doesn't crack. Now, a convectional oven, which is the preferred method of drying, of dehydrating your food with a, if you do have an oven and not an actual dehydrator. The convectional oven is said to distribute heat more evenly, making it easier to dehydrate. So I'm just taking out all the pieces. For the most part, it's pretty crunchy, which I am excited about. Of course, you wash your hands before you do this shit before and after, but I'm just looking for anything really you can tell by the temperature. A lot of these are room temperature, dry to touch, but they'll feel kind of cool if they're not fully dry. So these are pretty much fully dry. I could also, well, nah. I was gonna say I could take them outside since it's a bright day, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm impatient and these are what they are. So the, out of all of this particular one, these are the ones that are left undry, which I'm gonna put, pop them back in the oven while I sort out the rest of my stuff. So I'm gonna sort the rest of this and I'll see y'all in a minute. All right, everyone, so in order of crispiness, we have these, which were the orange ones that look like carrots. I put these to the bottom of the oven and these are actually the most crisp. Y'all hear that? That's how y'all know they're ready. So I'm gonna powder these first. These are the majority, which were the yellow ones. And these are pretty crispy too. Y'all hear them? They also give that snap. Well, they give a mild snap. And then you have these over here, which don't snap at all. Now, out of all the turmeric, for it to only be this amount, this amount that didn't dry, I say it was a success. But what I'm gonna do, just to be sure, I'm actually gonna put these back into the oven along with these, put them in the bottom tray like these were, blend these and let these uh, dehydrate for maybe one more hour. And I think that they should be good by then. Spread this out. The more you spread out, the more you spread out your materials that you're drying, your produce, your items, the easier it is for heat to pass through and dehydrate it. So I'm gonna spread these out, put them back in the oven and commence with the orange dehydration process. But y'all hear this crispiness? They're pretty ready. I just want them to have a long shelf life. If there's moisture, that means it yields itself to decomposition, which is what you don't want because, because the beans that would decompose this are microbes, which we don't want. So back in the oven you go. So I'm putting these back in the oven. And remember, the ones that are to the bottom, when you put food on the bottom rack during the dehydration, it will dry faster. All right, everyone, it is time. We have here our croups food processor. It's plugged up, which it probably shouldn't be, but we're gonna um, take some of these crunchy orange turmeric over here. Get about a handful, make sure your hands are clean. Put them in. Let's see what it do. I think this is a pretty good amount. Don't want to stress it. You know somebody make beats when they use 
one finger to hold it stationary from moving, one finger to hold down the lid, and the other finger to actually press down the button. That's how you know they make beats. I think that's about it, so. Let's see. All right, guys, nothing short of beautiful. I think we're supposed to put in the strainer, so that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm supposed to pour this through here. Yeah, I'm supposed to pour it in there like so. And already that's more than what you'll get in the stores. And sift it through. But as y'all can see, this blender works pretty good. So there's your review in the, in the Krups blender. Look at that. And that's your turmeric powder, guys. This is our orange turmeric powder. So what I'm gonna do is put the rest of these back in here, back in here, and we're gonna continue from there. Remember, y'all hear how it sounds like chips? That crispy sound. That's how you know it's ready. That's how you know your turmeric has dried. So take that last little bit of orange, put it in here. Oh, I forgot to put the remaining stuff in here. So far, man, we actually, I'm very proud of us. We got a lot of, we got a lot of turmeric now. These are gonna go in our half pint jars, half pint wide mouth jars. Y'all wanna know what this is? This is Cerecy, it's a blood cleansing um, vine. You use it as a tea. You can put the roots and the stem in there, the leaves and the, and the vines in there. Cleanses the blood. But anywho, so. Gonna plug this in. Then I'm gonna get my beat machine blending going on. All right. Plug it first. I'm trying to do this with my hand. And plug it. You would think I'm left handed out here. Take your grinder, pour it in like so. So that's it. This is how you make powder, orange turmeric. We're gonna do a comparative test to see if the orange turmeric looks any different from the yellow turmeric. Now, of course you would say, of course, orange and yellow. But when it goes through heat, it goes through a transformation process. So we're gonna see if the color has blended or if the color has homogenized due to the heat. We'll see. All right, guys, so these two are the yellow turmerics. This is the orange turmeric. There's a distinct color in them, and I'm glad that we decided to blend them separately because clearly they're different. They have different flavors, different smells. Man, I'm so excited, but there you have it. We made turmeric powder from harvest to table. And that's 